When you're first starting off with welding, what you want to do is you want to practice butt joints. Moreover, you want to practice surface welds. Now, there's two methods to the madness in the MIG welding world. There is the push technique and the pull technique. We're going to focus on the pull technique. Reason being is it's going to be easier for you to see, it's easier to develop, and we also want to establish muscle memory. So what we're going to do for our first exercise is we're going to take some 12 gauge material and we are going to put a line down with our soapstone, a two inch line. Then we are going to tack at the top and we are going to tack at the bottom. Now, attack for our purpose. What you want to do is you want to set up, you want to just lightly touch the wire down, keep that 3 8 inch stick out distance, and then you're going to pull the trigger and you're just going to do a two count. One, two. Now this is not two seconds and it's not freaking out and going one, two. You just want to pull the trigger, one, two, release the trigger to stop. You're going to do that twice. One, two, one, two. Then we're going to go back up to this top tack here. We're going to put our wire down, not at the very bottom edge and not at the top of the tack. All right, we want to put it just a quarter of the way up onto that tack. Because what we want to do at first is we want to use the tack and the two pieces of fictional base metal, our line, to create what's referred to as the puddle. Now, here's the deal with welding. I don't care what anybody tells you. The number one job a welder has is to control fluid. Okay, it happens to be a 3000 degree plus fluid, but it is a fluid nonetheless, and you have to control it, namely its size. So you have to build the puddle first. So what you're gonna do, once you put the wire down on that tack, you are gonna pull the trigger and you're gonna wait a second. It's gonna be a one count. It's gonna develop pretty quickly, but as soon as you develop that puddle, you wanna draw through and you wanna go at a nice, even pacing that is consistent. We want to get into a rhythm, a pacing of the draw, okay? Because what we want to do when we're done, we want to see two nice, even parallel edges to our bead, all right? The only way to get these two even parallel edges is to keep that puddle the exact same size the entire time as you are moving through your weld zone. Now, here's what's going to happen. If you start off, you're going pretty good, and then you jerk through the motion or you go too fast, the edges are going to pull in. They're going to suck in on you. All right? You're not applying enough heat or enough filler metal to create the proper size B for the thickness of the material. All right? Now opposite. All right? Opposite, you're going through the weld zone, you start slowing down. If you slow down too much or you stop altogether and stay in that area, what happens? Well, you're going to centralize your heat. You're going to put more weight on the material with your fill, filler metal, and then you're going, to put, you're going to put pressure on it with a shield gas. You go too slow for too long or you stop, and you are going to put a hole through your material. This is called burn through, and that's bad. So we want to avoid both of those. We want to develop muscle memory. You're going to want to do this at least a dozen or so times until you are consistently getting nice, even parallel edges. And that's our first exercise. Let's go check it out.